everyone, welcome back for On Myoji, the card game content. So today we'll be featuring my main deck that I've been using in ranked matches. But before that, if you want updated videos, please hit the subscribe button. It's down below. Hey guys, before we go to our actual gameplay of this deck, let me just show you around on the, um, the chicken gamut that I'm using and what are their roles in this deck. So we'll start off with Kaguya. So Kaguya is um, a Shiken Gami that, that specializes in bringing out fields in the deck. Her fields are actually are like enchantments that, that affect you and affect your opponents as well. Um, they sometimes affect you alone or sometimes it affects your opponents alone. So basically they are they are just there opposite actually no on the left side of your screen and they usually um, have certain effects so my my deck or this deck is actually made around her um, she is actually my win condition here and she's my primary win condition but I have also other win conditions aside from her but she is the main component of this deck so the deck is really called field control Huoka here is actually my my second win condition she actually is um about dealing damage to um to opposing shikengami and also she deals damage directly to the opponent as well so that is why she's here she's here to clear the board of of, of opposing shikengami and deal a lot of damage as well to the opponent so she is my second win condition for this deck then we go to Andon. I'm calling her Andon because I can't really pronounce her name. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. But she is here, number one, for lantern support because she gives you additional lanterns. And and actually, uh, if, if, if you may recall in my first video in terms of the gameplay, I'll, I'll put the link up there so that you might see the, the first video on how you go about your turns in this game so um lanterns are are in the game because they are the only times that you could perform an action so the more lanterns you have the more actions you can perform so she is here for that sole purpose and her secondary skill is actually what i like as well it's card drawing it's sifting through your library and getting the cards that you want so she actually has a lot of utility which i like and she is actually the, the the mascot of my team so i'm very excited to use her in this game because she speeds up my the the, the hand or the cards in my hand she speeds up um refilling it and also she she speeds up um the number of spells that i or the number of actions that that i can do per per what they call this per turn so the last chicken gummy that i have here he is more or less um the one that does the cleanup for the rest if all else fails hangan is there to um number one clean out the board as well she uh he has um spells that can destroy directly chicken gummy uh, and she uh, and he is actually also one of my win conditions um, because um, he actually grows bigger with this spell condemn so once he has enough chicken gummy that he has killed then he grows bigger with this skill or with this form so those are the four um shiken gami that i have in this in this uh deck this deck has been fine-tuned this had a lot of versions when it started so more or less this is my final deck i'm actually moving on to other decks that that i am actually currently making so if you can see i have an aggro deck and this is the other deck that i'm also trying to figure out so i'll i'll upload some of the some of the decks that i have already or i have created in future videos and also after this video i'll i'll give i'll give my tips on the various um what they call this the various uh content that you have within this game 
especially for your rank matches, seal deck, Yakubun chess, and others as well. So let's proceed to a rank match. So for rank match, I just recently reached the uh, tier five rank one. So let's try to see if I can win a game here. So let's start the match. So we're off to matching. So I hope this time it won't take that long. Um, sometimes I, matching reaches up to a minute or so. Um, but most of the time, it usually ranges from, you know, uh, 10, 5 seconds to 30 seconds. So I hope that this matching would won't take that much time. This, this deck actually that I'm going to feature, I was actually tinkering with various decks before I end up ended up with this. Um, the the mainstay there are are ha Hangan and the other one is Huoka. Those are the two that have been constant in my previous decks. These two I just added. So let's actually try to select the cards that um, that I can I can use. So for this deck, when you select cards, you try to select the lowest casting or or, or cost. As early as possible preferably more of one casting than two so this is good already um, let's confirm so to start I usually do I'm not usually aggressive during the start of matches because I would like to keep my chicken gummy alive so that I could set up this deck before um, putting out my win condition so let's uh, wait for my turn. Okay, drawing ignite. Let's see what I can play here. Um, I don't. I, I don't think I can play some spells. So I'll draw hangan. I need to actually set this up. Um, I need to put this out with a stone bowl so that I could create a defensive wall while I set up as well. So. Ideally, I would play both two cards because I need this to go, go up to 10 for it to have a attack stat so that it could, you know, um, try to attack uh, the opposing attackers as well. Then this one, sometimes I would uh, deploy at the end. So for now, I don't have anything to cast. Then let's end our turn. So basically, this deck is you have to take a lot of hits. To start the game i hope not that much because i am about ready to take a lot of damage so three it's good that he didn't use this guy so just choose one i can't cast this anyway because this is this only deals two damage then i'll end my turn as well so Really, in your first few turns, you'll just have to be contented with, with taking damage and eventually choose your choose the time in which you can um, retaliate and set up. So taking another three damage. The reason why I want to I want to go uh, what do you call this? I want to go second, not first, because once you add your your what do you call this? your your level your, your last level up for level one you will have a chance again to go to uh to level up again for level two right away so what i do is i usually take her then i cast this one then i cast buddha's stone bowl so that i can have um a little bit more of defense uh, while I set this deck more so now we're out of orbs then we end my turn so at least now we have something every turn so the orbs actually appear um, right after I end my turn so at least when you have 10 
for your for your Buddhist bowl, it has a certain power. But if you have below than ten, then it returns to zero five. So you won't have you know the the chance to deal damage to the opponent. So this is what I like when when I at when I have him at four five. At least you could deal damage again. It's good that he's he's not really you know he's not really attacking that much. So right now, I'll try to level her up because I've seen a spell that can take out one of them or even two of them. So try to deal this one five damage so that he's dead. Then also use this one defeat an opponent soul reap so that you could kill this one anyone with two power and below can be killed so try to as much as possible delay your 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 what they call this your your opponent in setting up that's the idea for this deck so that you could set up for yourself so as much as possible have more field control so that you can you know delay uh, damages and also accelerate your setup as well so it's good that we had a blocker because that's 9 10 and you'll really have a headache um, getting that 9 damage so next is I have a couple of spells that I can cast at, uh, at here we go so two but I'll use this first so that I could kill him. So down to one opponent. Then I can also I can also use actually one one good uh, one good um, ability of Andon is if you still have one orb left, you can gain an orb at the end of your turn as well so that is why sometimes if you don't have anything to do you can actually stack orbs by, by not consuming the last orb um, then that is what we'll do end turn then another bowl will appear with four or five so let's it's this deck is kind of annoying as well that is why I, I want to build this because um, I've had opponents that have used this deck in the in the past and I saw it as a potentially good deck to have. So we're at level two for Hangan. Then our next move would be to eliminate this guy if I can. So deals two damage, deals six damage. But I can't yet because it's a three casting spell. So the next move would be just to level up your your shikangami or to to change the former shikangami then let's see six damage still let's try to kill him instead use one orb so that i could add one more oh i forgot i could kill him this turn so Okay, I'll just end my turn. No, I'll deal damage instead. At least one, consume one. So that he'll be down to six. Um, the opponent has an annoying spell that decreases your attacks by one. So if you deal one damage, eventually you'll deal zero. So this is that chicken gummy. So it's very annoying and you have to you know, have much damage dealt so that um, it's only decreased by one. So if you attack with two with uh, with this guy, then you'll end up only dealing one. So I actually forgot about that, but it's okay. We still have uh, we still have time. To set this up. He's I think his main win con is just to attack me with a big monster. So let's uh continue with this one so i have a three casting spell already but i'll defer that because nobody's here so this one this spell is actually pretty good 
Your Swaying Blaze is one of the best spells that you could have in the game, especially for Huoka, because it deals 6 damage and the rest, if you have enough damage that would you know, exceed the, the, the defense of your opponents, then you could deal it to to your opponent as well so don't forget this bowl actually attacks if no one is in front of him so that is why i attacked using him then i think i'll be done for now so also you can also chip away especially if you have an opportunity to to attack especially if no one's in front of you using the bowl so it's not only a defender it's also an attacker as well at four five it's actually a good deal to have him every turn so let's wait for let's wait for what is his strategy and again attacking it's okay as long as he doesn't have any more attacks it's okay that he can attack every turn i don't really care the the, the problem is if he can destroy your blocker then attack or have two attacks then that would be a problem indeed so right now what i have so this spell is actually good because when the bull comes around and i can use this when triggered the when he attacks the bull he gets killed as well so i'll use this as a as a secret then i'll probably later uh what do you call this I'll probably um, surprise him later. So I'll, I'll take out a few enemies first before anything else. Uh, have. Do I end my turn now? Yeah, I think so. Um, let's test this out this, uh, this card, Whims of Death. So as long as you have one, you know, have one orb left. You can actually trigger trigger that card. So if you see this um, a icon above the exclamation point, it can be triggered once once anybody attacks the bowl. So once anybody attacks the bowl, like right now, see that triggered. The bowl is destroyed as well as the opposing opponent. So that's actually the the trap that it does. So that was a very good free attack. So he ends his turn, he doesn't do anything, he's actually getting pissed at not being able to deal damage and I also gain, um, gain life because of Hangan when I destroy Shikengami, so I gain one life as well. So let's have Kaguya. So Kaguya is actually here, her evolved form because I can actually for for her for her for her fields you can only have one but when she has this evolved form of hers you can actually put multiple fields here so multiple fields can already activate because i have dragon jewel and buddha stone dragon jewel is actually my main um my main constant um, attacker or you know it actually deals a lot of damage to the field so if you can see here at the end of each turn deals two damage if this card is uh, greater than 10 deal one damage to all opponent and shikangami in the in the standby zone so it acts as a constant damage to the opponent and to your your opposing shikangami as well so let's end this so after you summon the bow it automatically deals damage to to oppose Shikangami that are still alive. So this is actually a, a very annoying deck because you have to set this up. But once you're set up, you're almost impossible to defeat unless um, the opposing team has shenanigans, especially if they have combat cards in play. So this field, these two fields will activate, especially, especially um, Dragon Jewel. It will activate every turn, every end of turn for the for the opponent and also for me. So we have a lot of um, lantern support cards already, and we have um, Oshikan Gambit three levels. So I'll use this card. If you don't have any Shikangami to level up, you can actually draw an extra card. 
So I've I've drawn this one. So I'm gonna consume one lantern so that I could have two. Then this one, I could choose an extra, extra what do you call this? <coughs> extra field. You can actually add more fields to this. Uh, the fields that are present is only one, but the ability stack. So that is what is good with uh, with uh, Kaguya's evolved form. But I'll use this instead. Uh, ghost story so that I could search for more, you know, for better cards. So like this one, death penalty, death, uh, defeat a Shikangami. So I'll take this one so that I could defeat somebody. Next turn, <laughs> ran out of orbs. So just, just have it as defense just get cards that are you know that you might need eventually in case that the enemy recovers so this is a very slow playing deck and it's actually very annoying to have as an opponent i haven't encountered anybody yet using this deck so if you guys would want to 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 take a to to have a copy of this deck um, be my guest um, this deck is actually a joy to play especially now that I have um, I have more or less fine-tuned it to the way that I want I still lack a few cards though that I will need eventually but currently I'm, I'm already satisfied with this one so I'm just clearing out you know the board so that um, opposing Shikangami won't have a chance to attack and I think I'll finish the game already if this is already 8. So projectile damage 8. So last attack. So that is it, guys, for my field control deck. Um, if you actually have any um, comments, suggestions about the deck, if you want a listing of the cards, I could actually take screenshots and uh, or probably send to you the list of all the cards that I've been using and so that you may actually you know uh, build this deck for yourself so that is it I'll take you back first to to the decks that I have um, and show you the some of the cards that I think that I may actually use as an addition so this one i'm actually trying to save up so that i can get this um this is not really in the main feature but this is just an extra that i could tinker with or more options so that uh, your deck would be more all around and i don't think i have cards for her and for her as well for andon it's actually lantern drain i'd like to have this one this is also pretty much expensive to add to this deck um, this actually adds more damage and Andon gives you more flexibility in terms of what she has once she has given you the cards already and if you still need more damage or um, uh, lantern drain is actually good so those are the two cards that I'm still looking for to add to this deck so I hope that um, I have um, given you idea on what you know what what deck next that you could uh, you know explore with try to build this deck i would be happy if you you know um play with this deck and uh, for other deck ideas i will upload more in the future so anyway guys always take care this is the warden and i'm out